We received an image that is allegedly a leak of pictures taken by High Rise, showing 3i Atlas. This image identifies itself as taken by High Rise. I did a deep investigation into this. Is this that image that everyone is waiting for? Yes. I'll even show you the email of the person who supposedly leaked this to me. And Dr. John Brandenburg, guys, he made a heavy statement this time. He went far. He went far. He said something that's making everyone suspicious. That 3i Atlas could, in fact, be performing a maneuver now behind the sun. Behind in quotes, right? Passing behind the sun from our point of view. And he was the one who said, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. And does Jeremy Corbell know everything? For those who don't know, Jeremy Corbell is an investigative journalist. I have a video here of him, right? Where, in fact, in January 2025, long before we even knew or imagined the existence of 3i Atlas, he had made a video saying that a big lie would be told involving an alien ship. And we're going to talk more about that. What do you mean? What's going on? Should we run for the mountains? First of all, let's talk about this email. I received this email here, and, well, Folks, a lot of people contact us and they ask for confidentiality. And I have to respect that confidentiality. A lot of information has already been leaked to us. Hot, heavy information. But they asked me. I wanted to share it with you, but I don't feel comfortable sharing it on the channel. It's the confidentiality of the source. It's the confidentiality of the source. Since we do a lot of investigation, we have some people who contact us. I received a curious email talking about this leaked image of 3i Atlas. And here's the deal. I blacked out some things there because it's the source's confidentiality that we have to respect, right? That's precisely why we have many sources here on the channel. In other words, these would be the images we are all waiting for. So, hello, I'm from the live chat that I talked to, and I had the leaked NASA images. And there's a piece of information that I had to hide. I also have a group on the forum, but I can't send it here. I had some haters on that forum, something something, and things like, if you pass this image to any stream, we will. If you make any video showing this, don't mention me. Hunks, I like you guys, I love your channel, I've been following and studying astronomy for years. I hit his email here, hit his channel, and all that, because it's the confidentiality of the information. What did he send us in these images? This is what you're seeing here. Let's look at each one of them. Look here. So, according to the source, this would be, these would be leaked images of 3i Atlas taken by High Rise. Why does this attract so much attention? Because here's what happened, folks. This interstellar object made a close pass with Mars now on October 2nd and 3rd, from the 2nd to the 3rd of October, 2025. And there was a probe orbiting Mars called the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and it has an instrument, a camera, that could take the best image of 3i Atlas. And then we would know, is it a comet? Is it a ship? Is it, in fact, a comet, as is the scientific consensus? Our chance to see it as close as possible. That's it. And so it was there. It made the close pass with Mars, and High Rise from NASA, which is operated by the University of Arizona, took the best image. For reference, what is the best image we have of 3i Atlas right now? It's this one, look. This one, look. This is the best image of 3i Atlas that was taken by Hubble but high rise could capture it much better. It could actually define the object. And these images are under a shutdown because, in quotes, of that governmental problem that's happening in the United States. That's right. And so the images are simply not being released. And then Dr. Abby Loeb came out and said, but come on, okay, there's the NASA shutdown, but the high rise operator is not just NASA. The principal investigator is the University of Arizona. And they're not in shutdown either and they're also not releasing them. Okay, and then I received this email here, right, with these images here, and I was quite intrigued. But after all, is this actually 3i Atlas? And then a very curious thing happened, because I received another email from another person, which is this one, okay? Photos taken by High Rise on October 3rd, 2025, leaked and recovered. Please, two different people, different. Please don't mention me or talk about me, I don't want the credit. And he sent me. He sent what? Folks? Exactly. Images, two different sources. Yes. And here it is. Look. 3i Atlas, October 3rd, 2025. High rise filter, the cyan filter, in this case, right? The color cyan. And that intrigued me, okay? 
I'm going to explain to you why right now. Here it also has three eye atlas. It shows this here. Let's put a monstrous zoom here to see what we can find, to try to understand what this could be. It shows a clearly cylindrical object, clearly artificial, okay? I mean, 99% of this is artificial. And then there are these other images here that would have different filters and all that. And then I was quite intrigued, and I asked these sources where they got more details about this. So far, at least, I haven't gotten any additional information, dear friends. However, however, not content, I went there. Let me even zoom out here so you can see what the configuration of the images is like here, okay? Here are three images together. I went there to do an investigation with artificial intelligence, because that's all I had left. These two people haven't answered these emails yet, okay? And so I did an investigation with artificial intelligence. What did I get talking about these images that would be the three eye atlas? The problem with artificial intelligence is that it doesn't give a like. There's also that. It doesn't give a like, but you can give a like right now. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. We're gonna talk now about this AI analysis, okay? For now, at the very least, this is very attention grabbing, especially because it was two distinct emails. But then I thought, okay, a person wanting to troll us could also, you know, folks, send two different emails with the same image as if they were different people. So I can't judge that it's false, but I also can't be 100% sure that it's correct. So since I don't have more information, I did an investigation with the help of artificial intelligence, okay? And what did the AI say? First of all, what did I get from artificial intelligence? The observation code in the corner, which is normal. Look, let's go back here. Look, in the lower corner, we should have an observation code that, according to artificial intelligence, does not exist in this image, which would be inconsistent with a real image taken by high rise, the cyan filter. And this is what made me a little suspicious because I knew that almost certainly it didn't have this filter. High rise does not have this filter and it has the red filter, right? the blue-green filter, and the near-infrared filter. So when they want to make cyan, they make a mixture of those. But the cyan filter itself does not exist. And here it's saying that it does. And here it's saying that it has a cyan filter. But they can create what would be the cyan filter, right? They can do it by mixing those. So it's a bit strange. Yes, but it's already an alert, right? It's already a warning. The scale here is shown as three arc. This is used when you point at the sky. But high rise was not made to point at the sky. High rise was made to observe Mars. Has it pointed at the sky? Yes, but it was made to observe Mars. So it doesn't use this scale and arc. It doesn't use it. Oh, but maybe in this case they used it. It could be, but it is not used. Another thing, here it says 29M, which would be miles. Ah, and here it says 72,260 kilometers. That's wrong. 29 miles would not be 760 kilometers. 29 miles would be about 46,000 kilometers. So it's inconsistent. It doesn't match. Another thing that artificial intelligence pointed out is that high-rise images usually have vertical lines, right? Lines like that. A very subtle noise happens, but it happens, which is not seen in this image. And this diffuse noise should not exist and does exist in this image. Another thing. The object shows itself with very clean edges, as you are seeing, which is also suspicious because there would probably be a minimum exposure resulting in some blooming or blur, as they call it in English, which would be like slightly blurred. It would be blurred in some way. And here, no, the image is quite sharp. But at the same time, it leaves me in doubt because the AI also messed up in this analysis at the same time that it said. And another thing, the AI said that there is no indication that First, it said that high rise has ever been pointed into space to observe anything other than Mars, and it has been. And then it also said that there was no indication that it would have been used to observe 3 eye Atlas. Then I said, no, high rise has been used to observe other things. It even pointed at a comet once, right? Citing spring, if I'm not mistaken. So it seemed a bit uninformed, a bit. Then it said, no, it actually happened, and such. And then later I said another thing. High rise pointed at three eye atlas, so much so that the information is on the high rise website that it should be released by NASA and not by the University of Arizona. And then they, then the AI corrected itself and said, no, 
In fact, it seems it was used to point at 3i Atlas. So anyway, we have at least what? For divergent and warning points. This inconsistency in the values here, right from miles to kilometers, is very glaring. That raises a huge red flag. Let's do this. Since we are always keeping an eye on the comments, leave it in the comments. You are the judge. We brought the facts. Yes, we brought the facts as transparently as possible. We received images from sources. The images are there. Leave here in the comments. Is this 3i Atlas or not? I'm going to bet CR. If I had to bet 1 million right now, bet 1 million Brazilian reis now. If you get it right, you win. You know what I would say? It's false. Ah, so does that mean my sources are lying or trying to play a trick on the Galeria do Metarito channel or something? No, possibly these people also might be believing that this is real. Perhaps the origin of the fake news was not them, neither this person nor that person. Yes, they managed, precisely because they are different people and they passed it on. They got some information and passed it on. So it's not necessarily them either. So if I had to bet, is it absolutely certain that it's false? It's not absolutely certain that it's false. But if I had to bet, I would bet that it's false. I would bet. But you also can't be absolutely certain. You can't put your hand in the fire. Anyway, leave your comments. Yes, leave your comments. What do you think now under your scrutiny? You are. Leave it there in the comments. We always keep an eye on the comments. Folks, anyone who has a child with binoculars, with a telescope, with a monocular, with anything like that, the smallest, the smallest monocular that exists, don't leave them alone. Because if they point it at the sun, it causes permanent blindness. So be very careful. Children with binoculars. Only use binoculars together with parents or a guardian or an adult. And never point it at the sun. Never in your life point it at the sun. If you point it at the sun, you will go blind forever. Instantly. Never, ever point it at the sun. So, the safe thing to do is always observe at night. So there's no risk of you accidentally ending up pointing it at the sun. Do you think, folks, that the shutdown was intentional? Look, it's difficult, difficult, because the shutdown is actually political. It's a political thing there. An action with the politicians, the Republicans and Democrats, not reaching an agreement. So, unless it was very clumsy, I would say no. I would say they are just using it to their advantage. Well, the shutdown is there anyway. We already don't want to release these images much anyway. Yes, for whatever reason. Look, it seems like the perfect excuse in your hand. You're not going to use it. Daniel from Argentina. He managed to make this record of 3i Atlas. But this here, folks, is fake. It's very fake. No one can capture 3i Atlas so clearly. I believe that not even high rise would capture it with this clarity, and an amateur astronomer could capture it from their backyard. It has nothing to do with the images we have managed to get so far. Yes, no, it has nothing to do with it. It doesn't resemble it. So, all the images we've gotten so far have that somewhat circular thing. It looks like something circular. Yes, it looks like, I don't know, a pill shape, a ship shape. Now this, this here would be like thin, very thin. Like, this would be more like Umuamua. Yes, if it were Umuamua, I would even say, oh, it might even make sense, but 3i Atlas, no. So be very careful. This video is a big warning, because now around the 29th, around this date here, October 29th, right? Because now 3i Atlas is close to making its actual close pass with the sun, because it's in alignment. It made the alignment, right? Earth, sun, 3i Atlas. But now on October 29th, it will make the actual close pass with the sun. So this is the perilous moment, as we say, right? It's perilous in everything, including for fake news. Lots of fake news. Be very careful. Now there will be an explosion of fake news around. Now, folks, Jeremy Corbell, he had made an allegation, saying, they're going to tell you this, in January, before 3i Atlas was discovered. They're going to tell you, there's a big lie that is about to be told. It would be around 2027, that a gigantic alien ship is coming in the direction of Earth. Wait a minute. He said that in January. He said it in January. Atlas only appeared in July. They're going to tell a big lie that a gigantic ship is coming in the direction of Earth. But this is a government plan according to documents from the 1970s, that this would happen one day. Jeremy Corbell is a very renowned investigative journalist there in the United States. That's why everyone is saying, ah, 
could it be 3i Atlas? I already raised the alert because, well, first of all, they are not claiming that 3i Atlas is an alien ship. To begin with, everyone is fighting against the idea of it being an alien ship. Everyone is inventing, covering it up, covering it up, even though there is a lot of evidence that it is something artificial. In fact, according to Avi Loeb, there is about a 40% chance of it being an alien ship, but no government has come out and said, look, it's an alien ship. And so Jeremy Corbell himself decided to talk about this. And he said this here, look, check it out. Everyone is asking what my opinion is about 3i Atlas, the object that is. I am not an astronomer. I am not a scientist. But why are they asking? Because he says, right, that back in January, he gave this testimony. To summarize, folks, in this video that is almost five minutes long, he says the following, no, I didn't talk about 3i Atlas, giving the impression that it has nothing to do with 3i Atlas, and it makes sense not to have anything to do with 3i Atlas. So can we, because according to him, the governments were going to tell a big lie that a ship is coming in the direction. Look, I think it's difficult because what we see the most is a cover up. It is the government not wanting to talk. The government not wanting to talk, on the contrary, right? Not wanting to talk. So he made it clear that it is, in fact, not. Want to see? Look, right at this point here. I don't know anything about, particularly about this comet. What I know about it is what anyone, everyone else is knowing, what all of you are knowing. So basically, no, it was not about 3i Atlas. And in fact, it makes sense for it not to be, right, about 3i Atlas. Okay, now another person who also said something, and this time he said too much, huh? He spoke well, spoke well. Dr. John Brandenburg, a very renowned scientist, who is also the one who talks about Mars having been habitable. He even says there are indications, according to him, many indications that a great nuclear explosion or several nuclear explosions happened on Mars in the past. And he says the following, he says the following, dear friends, object 3i Atlas may be changing its trajectory to approach Earth. That is, changing its trajectory to come in the direction of our planet. If confirmed, the following message must be sent. Approach Earth, and there will be war, and God is with us. Heavy. You made a heavy statement there. But there's one thing I don't agree with him on. Not necessarily that he wants this, but I think in the end, if it were true, it would end up resulting in. One thing I don't agree with, because, well, if we're talking about an alien civilization, it would be extremely more advanced than us. It's the same as an ant wanting to pick a fight with an elephant. Does it make sense, folks? You, being technologically extremely inferior to another civilization, making a declaration of war like that. Yes, but I thought his tone was different. I thought his tone was not that this is what I want, but it will probably end up leading to this. It will probably lead to this. And in that, I even agree with him that it wouldn't work out very well with our political governments, generals, this kind of alien approach. Another thing, he said that it may be happening. It was a supposition. Actually, it was a supposition, but the way he spoke was impactful. A lot of people are talking about this. But, well, folks, to be clear, what he said was not us. It was not us. Don't shoot the messengers. And to be clear, there is, in fact, no evidence so far that Atlas has changed its trajectory and is coming in the direction of Earth. As far as we know, it is not coming in the direction of Earth. It might be alien, yes, but there's a big chance that even if it's alien, it will just pass right by here. I would even say that there is some evidence, but we don't have proof. Is there proof? Is there proof that it's changing its trajectory, that it made a curve, for example, or that now it will be trapped here in the solar system, like it decided not to leave, made the curve to stay around here? So, 3i Atlas could still be just a very strange comet. I don't think so. Yes, I don't think so. If it's something natural, it would be something completely different from anything we've ever seen. It would not be a comet. It would not be a comet. That's real. It wouldn't be a comet at all. Yes, you saw Abby Loeb himself say, right? That there's no way to put it back under two. No, no, I had also said that, right? It's difficult now to put 3i Atlas, even if from now on it starts to behave perfectly as expected for a comet. You can no longer put it as certainly a natural object. I think never again, never again. Okay, but we continue to keep an eye out, right, folks? on everything that is happening in the sun, in the sky, in space.
especially very close attention to 3i Atlas. And until next time, I'm out. Bye.